For this question, we are required to do two things. We need to prepare the trading, profit and loss account and the appropriation account. So we will go ahead with the trading and profit and loss account. So as we spoke, as we said, as we discussed before, the trading and profit and loss account is from all your trading activities and your profit and loss account is all uh, are profits from your operational activities. So let's start with the trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 30 June 2020. So it says Deshi and Rirwako are in a re are in a partnership. The financial year end is 30 June 2020. This is their partnership agreement. Interest on drawing is 7%, interest on capital 12%, and Deshi receives a monthly salary of 8000 The share of profits and losses is determined by the capital each partner has invested. So this will go in your appropriation account. So your appropriation account deals with everything equity, everything that has to do with your equity and your drawings, okay? So this will go in your appropriation account. On the 1st July 2019, so we start from 30 June 2020, which is the end date, and the beginning was actually on your 1st of July 2019. These are the capital balances, Ndeshi 25,000, Rirwako 15,000. During the course of the financial year, the partners made the following drawings, Ndeshi of 12,000 and Rirwako of 14,000. Other balances for the financial year, 82,500, 12,200 for opening inventory, 8,900 for purchases and 3,409 for your closing inventory. Then we have your expenses, general, 6500 and you're selling 3700 So from this, from this, we will use this information for our profit and loss account, which is already prepared for us. There's already a format. So we start with a name the name of the partnership then we go on with the account the type of uh, the account we are doing and the year end so let us start so we always start off with our sales so we have your sales and your sales is less your cost of sales and your cost of sales is your opening inventory Added by your purchases less closing inventory so that's the cost of your cost of sales so inventory is also known as your stock in case you're given a question that has stock and not inventory So sales less your cost of sales gives us our gross profit. So we just go ahead and we insert the information. So your sales is 82,500 and we insert it there 82,500. And then our opening inventory is 12,200. So now this is where we calculate your cost of sales. So the cost of sales is how much were the goods that you sold? How much were the goods that you sold? So we need your opening stock and we need to add all the items that you just purchased. And we need to deduct closing inventory because those things were not sold off yet. So we only want to find out the price of the items that were sold. Okay. So we have your opening inventory, then you add your purchases, which is 8,900. So this will be the same. It's the same for your sole trade. It will also be the same for your partnership. The only place where it's different is when we have to separate our profits. So this is the same as you would normally do for your sole trading business. 
Then we have our closing inventory of 3,409. And if you add the 12,200 plus 8,900 plus 3,409, that gives us cost of sales of 17,691, meaning our gross profit will be 6,000. 64,000, excuse me, 809, okay? That is our gross profit. So now this part is our trading. Trading account, okay? But we're not going to write that. It's just for you to know because this is where we did our trading activities. Trading activities is what we're selling and what we're buying, okay? Then we move on to our profit and loss aspect of this. So we need to less, from our gross profit, we need to subtract our expenses. And we have our general expense. And we have our selling expense. So if we go back, our general expense is 6500 and our selling expense is 3700 So if we add that together, our total expense will be $10,200. That gives us a net profit of... Fifty-four thousand six hundred and nine. So now, from the net profit, that's where we will use the net profit to our appropriation account. So this is just like a a, a cycle. If you're giving given a question with all the these details and you have to do all the accounts, we first have to calculate our GP, which is your gross profit. From your GP, we move on to your net profit, and then from that, we go to your appropriation account. And that's where we divide the profits. So that's why it's very important to know these steps and to know that your GP will be your sales, less your cost of sales, and your net profit will be your GP minus your other expenses or all your expenses okay so this is very important to know because in some questions you won't be given your gross profit but you're given your net profit so just to know what to calculate okay so we move on to our appropriation account we have your debit and we have your credit okay so let's treat this as an equity account so we have our net profit we are not given any balance, so we have your net profit. Okay, net profit is 54,609. Okay, then from your net profit, we need to go back and we need to calculate what is our interest on drawings, okay? We need to calculate the interest on capital and we need to include your salaries. So the first thing we're going to do is your interest on drawings. So what happens when we do interest on drawings is the partner has taken out money and from that money that they have taken out, they need to pay us interest. So your interest on drawings will add on to your profit so you always add interest on drawings to your net profit okay you will credit interest on drawings always so we have interest on drawings and the interest on drawings we have is Fondeshi and Riruako okay so Fondeshi Fundeshi, we have to say the 12,000 multiplied by the 7%. 12,000 multiplied by your 7% gives us 840. And we add that there, 840. Then we go back to Riraco. 
and his drawing was 14,000 and we still have to multiply the 14,000 by your 7% so we say 14,000 multiplied by 7% that's $980 and if we add 840 plus your 980 that gives us $1,000 eight hundred and twenty dollars so one column is for your calculation the other column is for your total then we move on to your interest on capital so this is how much we pay our partners for investing so interest on capital we have Fondeshi and we have for Riroako so interest on capital, we go back. Interest on capital right there is 12% and this is the capital. So 12%, so we say the 25,000 from Deshi times your 12% gives us 3,000. And then your 12% minus multiplied by your 15,000, we get one8 and if we add that together, we get $4,800. Okay, that's done. Now we have your partner's salary. And we see if there's any salary that has to be paid. And if we go back, we have partner's salary for Ndeshi of $8,000. So we go back and we add that. So we have Ndeshi of $8,000. Then we have to find out what is our profit share after all this. So which one is your bigger part? So your bigger part, we need to calculate that now. So we say your 54,609 plus your 1,820 gives us 56,429. So that will be more than the debit side. So we will put that on all columns let me put that one right at the bottom so it's your 56 429 so I'll add that where it's the totals column so we subtract this we subtract your 4800 and your 8,000 so we can get the difference and your difference is now the profit share that we have to divide among the partners which is your 43,629 and we divide it between Deshi and Riroako so we won't divide it 50-50 we have to go back to see what are the terms so sometimes they'll give us a ratio 2 to 1 in this case they said the share of profits and losses determined by the capital each partner has invested. So let's say, because they don't tell us in this question if this is the first year. So let's say that these are the amounts that the, the partners have invested. So Ndeshi invested 25000 and Rirako invested 15000 So we add the total capital together that they have invested, which will give us... 40,000. So 25,000 for Ndeshi divided by your 40,000 and 15,000 for Riroako divided by your 40,000. So we need to get a fraction, okay? So we say your 25,000 divided by your 40,000, this gives us 5 over 8 for Ndeshi. And then for Riroako, this gives us 3 over 8. So we will say the 5 over 8 multiplied by your profit and 3 over 8 multiplied by your profit. So, for Ndeshi, so for Ndeshi, we will say your 5 over 8 multiplied by your 43,629, and that is going to give us 27,268 and some coins. And then for Riroako, it's going to give us 16,000, 
361 if we round that off. So just to make sure that's correct, we can say 27,268 plus 16,361 and that gives us 43,629. And that is how you do your appropriation account.